So anyone can do this. Anyone can do this uh, is what I'm trying to say. There's, it's not that difficult as you're going to see. It's a very simple, straightforward plan. And just on the other day, I was hanging out on Facebook, which I rarely do, and kind of got into it with the moderator of this uh, expat group uh, here in Ecuador. Uh, when he said, you know, if, you, if you're if you looking for a job, you shouldn't come to Ecuador. Uh, if you need money, you should not come to Ecuador. And I, I disagreed with them. You know, I think uh, you can make money in Ecuador, and it's not that difficult, uh, like I'm going to show today, at least what I'm personally doing. That's all I can speak on is what I'm doing, and then you can take or leave it, bits and pieces of it, and, and piece it together for yourself. First, a word on the myth of net worth. I, I think net worth is kind of worthless, no pun intended, but... Um, for instance, at least for me, I could have multi-millions in the bank, which I don't, and uh, I still it would still be kind of nice, be a knife in the gut for me spending money. Um, anytime I had to spend money, if I had to kind of constantly always take out a savings to do it, right? So for me, what's more important, and what we're going to cover today, is what are you bringing in monthly, right? And or in this case, a passive income. And if you're if you're young on the younger side, and you don't have a pension yet. You create one for yourself. This is what we're going to look at right now. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I've built up so far right now, as of 2021. Uh, the key here, the key word here is 10,000 a month passive income. Passive is the key word. Uh, so, like I'm sure a lot of you maybe are doing way more than 10 grand a month right now watching this, and you know, many of us have done that here in Ecuador, uh, which is, is really no big deal. But what I'm talking about is 10 grand a month passive income, right? So don't get it twisted. That's what I'm talking about here, meaning you don't have to be present or working every day or even much at all in order to make uh, 10 grand a month. And you can kind of do what you want from where you want to do it. So there's three ways. Or, or three act three axes if you will of uh, of ways that I'm currently making money passively and in uh, and I just need to expand it out a little bit more in order to reach my goal but let me show you what I'm doing actually right now and the first um, axis here <clears throat> or way I, I am currently making a passive income is through Airbnb rentals right Airbnb vacation rentals now, yes, I, for like eight years, I ran a hotel uh, in Quito and almost a, a year in Guayaquil before that. Um, and let me tell you, running a small bed and breakfast style hotel is fun, but very taxing. You have to be there all the time or you have to have you have to hire someone to be there in your stead. Right. And uh, it's just never ending. If you're like me and you wanted to kind of manage the, the sales and marketing aspect of it which I consider to be the most important, you're getting calls pretty much all day and night. Uh, and and, and it's, uh, it's tough. But the nice thing about Airbnb is that um, you don't get the constant calls. You don't even have your phone number on the site. It's all through email, most of the correspondence, right? And the nice thing about Airbnb guests are, are that they know that probably no one's going to be there to show them in. So they kind of have to show themselves in uh, with your virtual help and so one yourself or me in this case doesn't have to be there like a hotel or I don't and I don't need any full-time employees either and hire them and then pay the social security and then I have to liquidate them here in Ecuador um, which when the pandemic hit right I had three and it cost me over ten thousand dollars to do that uh, just to give you an idea right you don't need any full-time employees all you really need are uh, a reliable cleaners, a reliable cleaner, and a reliable handyman that you can call when things break, right? So I actually have in three different cities um, a total of five listings. That's it, five. One in Guayaquil that I actually own uh, that I, I've covered on other videos in this channel, and that's around a thousand a month, to be honest with you. Um, it's a lot easier because I own it, but I still have to pay about 100 bucks in uh, association fees, $22 internet. I don't have any cable TV like all these. I don't have cable TV anymore, just uh, smart TVs uh, and Netflix. And 
Uh, I mean, the electricity in Guayaquil is a little bit pricey. It can run $60, $70 a month for this one little one-bedroom unit I have uh, in the north central part of town. Uh, that generates, you know, it stays rented, really good occupancy, way better than Quito. And I definitely recommend it over Quito if you do start one. And the price you can get in Guayaquil, being the commercial hub of Ecuador, even though Quito is the capital, is, is definitely higher as well. Um, and I can generate about a thousand a month from that and it stays pretty full. And the three, I got three small units in Quito, right, that generate under a grand each month each. For a total of about after, um, after, you know, after expenses, I do lease and then sublease them. I don't own them. Um, generates about two thousand five hundred a month, right? After expenses, and I have one in my hometown of Cleveland, Ohio, a little tiny house uh, that I bought three years ago for thirty-three thousand dollars in the western suburbs of Cleveland, and. Uh, it's going pretty good. I put about 10 into it in the furnishings and to fix it up for this. And I got a cleaner over there that I communicate with via text message through one of the apps, a free app that I showed on a prior video. I mean, but it still does close to about 1500 a month. Um, even, you know, I have my $55 a month AT&T bill. I have my uh, electric and water, which are super cheap in Cleveland for some reason. Uh, my gas bill is pretty, really cheap too, except for the winter months. Uh, I can can go up a bit over, yeah. But I'm still doing close to fifteen hundred a month. So just from these five listings, that's five grand a month, right? So the next way that I'm currently generating income is uh, CD deposits in Ecuador banks, uh, insured banks, um, only up to the insured amounts. Uh, in between, earning currently nine to fourteen percent annual interest. Uh, pay, but paid monthly, but that's what I have making uh, close, close to not quite, but very close to a thousand bucks a month in just interest. Super easy. Um, I can go to the bank or any ATM and withdraw it whenever I please. And the third current way of uh, what I consider to be passive income, because again, it has no work schedule and I don't have to be anywhere at any specific time. So I still consider it passive income. Maybe your definition is a little different than mine, but it's this YouTube channel, which I started a little over a year ago in the midst of the pandemic uh, when my hotel biz got steamrolled um, by the pandemic. Uh, I, I had a lot of free time on my hands and I started this YouTube channel um, that I've been doing, but I've taken a few breaks, I'll be honest, but a little bit over a year now I've been doing this channel. Um, but like I took a month off last December uh, for instance, and uh, but it's it's going pretty good. I've heard we're not allowed to show like details of how much we're actually making. Um, YouTube doesn't like that, but uh, but like there's a little quick screenshot of what I did this last month, right? So not quite a little bit, not quite 500, but getting there pretty close. Uh, it's tough, man. Uh, YouTube channel's tough. It can some people are are just good at it. You know, I think it helps if you're better looking or charismatic in some way or have just an interesting topic that people want to hear about. Um, you, your channel could definitely click faster than others. But, uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a definite way to make money if that's something you're kind of interested in. So there it is. Through five Airbnb listings, some deposits in Ecuador banks, and this little YouTube channel, uh, this is how I'm currently doing six and a half. 6,500 a month passive income, right? So what do I need to do to hit my 10K goal for 2022 passive income? Well, basically, obviously I need to generate, uh, find ways to generate 3,500 more than I'm currently doing. Probably best uh, to overshoot that a little bit. Basically the idea is I'd like to expand this YouTube channel out. Uh, from 500 a month to a thousand, which I think a month, which is reasonable, right? It's not too crazy. Uh, it could happen. It might not. Uh, so that's one thing I'd like to do. That would take me up to seven a month passive income. The second thing uh, would be obviously I need probably at least two or three more new listings in Airbnb. To be honest with you, I don't know if it'd be in uh, where I currently have them in Quito or Guayaquil, but. Uh, <clears throat> 
but um, and prices have really soared back in the states for property and rentals are definitely more expensive up there too so probably they're going to be here in Ecuador um, that that should generate for me maybe say another uh, 2000 2500 bucks a month between the three of them and save I'm gonna have to save 50 60 thousand more and deposit in Ecuador bank CDs uh, making that 9 to 14 percent annual um, and uh, you know over the course of the next year hopefully be able to save that amount and deposit it away and then I'm hoping that with the, just expanding out the three uh, <clears throat> The three avenues I'm, I currently have, uh, I'm hoping to hit the hit and break possibly the the 10k a month rule and the 10k a month passive income. And with that, um, obviously, uh, I probably don't have to work anymore if I'm living in a place like Ecuador. You know how much? So that's the question you need to ask yourself: is how much do you need to make every month to feel comfortable to cover all your expenses and some? And for me, that number is 10000 a month. This is my little plan. Wanted to share. Maybe it's interesting. I'm Mr. Second Passport. Take care.